Welcome to the demo of OpenERP Education System. During this demo, we will look out various functionalities present under education model of OpenERP. Once I logged in, I will go to the school management model. Under school management model, you can see the various tabs like student, teacher, parents in the configuration of the school like uh, library, transportation system, schools, standard along with the admission register attendance of your student then the timetable fee structure and the configuration of the system we will go one by one first of all we will create one entry for the student like here for here uh, here you have to specify the academic year and other details like class medium and the division for which student is getting admitted First of all, I will provide the first name of the student like uh, John David. Then specify the general information of the student. Here you can mention the gender of the student, his or her birth date, then the mother tongue and the master's status. Along with this general information we have provided various tabs like events, contacts, transportation, references, academic, medical and emergency. In events you can specify the various events in which the student is participated, then the contacts, parent contacts for the student, then transportation route which the present student is using, then we have references, then the academic, we have previous school details, then we have medical information of the student, then emergency contacts and the remarks if any. Once I provide all this information, I will save it. After saving that information, go to the admission tab and you can see there is an entry for John. I will add it. John information submitted. I will confirm his admission. Once this is done, you can see under student tab we have John. Similarly, you can add new teacher to our system by providing his basic detail like name, SSS number, SIN number gender, master status, date of birth, and other information. Similar way, you can configure parent details also. Name, type, then the address for the communication, postal address. Then under library tab, we can manage our book issue system. Uh, for the student like here I will issue a one book okay uh, so, okay I will uh, I will use Anna's record okay once it's done I have to specify the number of dates she need to return it back to uh, our library after providing the detail you can save this once the detail is saved, you can see the record under this listing here, employee Anna, and the book name is employee assigned to student Anna. I have to confirm that, yeah, I will click on book issue. Under listing, you can see the book is issued. Similarly, for event, you can configure a different event over here. You can keep a record of the participant. Under this event participant tab. And similarly, you can configure for the transportation. Like here, I have configured for demo. Again, I will configure for demo to route. If you can specify the contact person, start date, end date. Okay and specify the vehicles and open that route
here we have a demo tool like the participant name like Anna or root demo to the point uh, say east and you can specify the vehicle number also once the information is filled Then under school management app, you can specify the various schools which are present just like here. I will specify one demo, code 3 and I will save the information. Yeah. It will appear under my school header, demo. Then similarly, you can specify for the standard just like for the class 2. Very English. I will specify the standard A and the class teacher, if any. In this case, administrator. I will save this. Attendance tab. We can keep record of the student. It's like by specifying the class, medium, division, and class teacher. Once you fill all this information. You can specify the student under that uh, standard. Similarly, similarly, you can specify monthly attendance sheet by providing academic class, division, medium, year, and a month. We'll move to the timetable. Under timetable, we can create the timetable for particular class. Like here, I will create one for Tuesday for the class one A division A medium English for the academic year two thousand twelve. Okay, then I will add I will change over here. I will make it demo timetable. I will specify a weekday. I suppose Tuesday from 10 to 11. You can specify the teacher name and the subject name too. I will save it and close it here. You can see Tuesday, start time 10, end time 10, 11, teacher name and the subject. Similarly, you can configure uh, your payroll system as well as fee receipt. Under fee pay slip, you can create a demo pay receipt, sorry, demo fee receipt. Where you have to specify the name of the student for which you are providing that fee receipt. Like here, I will provide it for John. Fee structure will be suppose it's monthly. Okay, I will confirm this. Once confirmed, you can see the amount in the $150, and I will save this record. This way, you can take out the fee receipt for every student. Similarly, you can go for the payroll register and create a demo payroll and confirm this. All your payroll information will come under this and you can see their payroll total amount is $4,450. Then here you have to space configure your system just like uh, academic year, months, similarly for the transportation. Then you have to configure your books also. Languages, book return, price category of the book, configurations, different stages like ordered, available, and the card detail of the student.
that's it from my side here we have just seen the education system model of OpenERP. Thank you. Thank you very much.